Hi, I'm in college, you're either A, about to go into college, B, be a parent of someone who's about to go into college, or C, my mother. Hi mom, thank you so much for watching. But regardless, here I am, Bella Bozide, giving a dorm tour of my Azalea dorm here at Florida State University for anyone who needs it, and also giving in some dorm tips and tricks that I think are necessities for everyone. So when it comes specifically to Azalea Hall here at FSU, um, I picked Azalea because it's one of the newer dorms, so I wanted that because I had a higher number. There's laundry right under on the lobby, so you don't have to like walk across the parking lot or anything. There's also the rooms are pretty spacious when it comes to, I live this year in a two-person dorm, like a Jack and Jill style. Me and my roommate live in this room, there's a bathroom, and then that connects us to to other people. I also picked this dorm because of the food options right downstairs below the lobby. There's a mac and cheese place, there's a pizza place, and also a tacos place. So you can literally just go right down there and not even have to leave your dorm to get dinner, which is really nice. Those are the main reasons why I chose Azalea. It's also pretty central to campus. It's kind of right by, literally not even a five minute walk from CVS. And there is also Landis Green, it's not even that far. And when it came to classrooms, I didn't have to worry about that this year, unfortunately, because of COVID, um, all my classes were online, so I was just in here. But when it does come to classes, it is pretty central to everything. Hi, so this is the dorm when you walk in. I'm gonna close the mirror. Mirror. Wow, I'm gonna close the window. Here is the dorm when you walk in through the door. I have the bed closest to the window, so that is what I will be predominantly showing you. The Azalea dorms overall come with two mattresses with bed frames you can raise slash lower, blinds on the windows, two closets, a sink vanity area, two desks, two desk chairs, two cabinets with locks on them, a fridge, and two wider cabinets. All for you and your roommates to choose your sides and share a room together. And now, we'll begin by going through the room. We're gonna talk about this thing, FSU here provides you with a refrigerator, which is down here, um, but you have to bring your own microwave. There's only certain types of microwaves you are allowed to bring, but they make that very clear on their website, along with everything else. Like, I believe um, extension cords can only be the ones that turn on and off. You cannot just have a regular one. I would definitely get this, a shelf, and put it right above your fridge so it can hold your microwave, and then it has other levels. Where so then you can store your dishes, food plastic bags, things like that. It's just very helpful. They do give you a lot of space in the sense of under the sink and under the bed, you get your own drawers, which they give you. But when it comes to food and things like that, you really have to think about, okay, how am I gonna store everything? Because you don't just have another kitchen you can walk into, it's your dorm. So I would definitely recommend getting one of these. I believe we got ours at Ikea or Amazon. And now we're over to the mirror. My roommate actually brought this mirror. It's very nice. Um, it has like seashells, it's very cute. Um, this is one of the biggest things I'd probably say to bring. It's not something you think about because you have a mirror right over your sink, but this just kind of helps with seeing full outfits and seeing how you look for the day. Bathrooms are gross, but we have to talk about them anyway. Bathrooms aren't gross, they're just weird. <laughs> Don't mind me, just filming in the bathroom. Yeah, it's locked, okay. Um, when it came to the bathroom, you get your toilet, a shower, that's really it. Um, the good thing about Azalea though, I believe all FSU dorms do this when you go to the front desk. They give you free toilet paper, so don't buy your own toilet paper. Just get it here. You're already paying for tuition and everything else. Just get the free toilet paper, take advantage. Everyone will need a shower caddy. I don't know about everyone. Maybe you just like to carry your shampoo and conditioner. I think I got this at Target for like $5. I think my roommates did as well. It's really nice, you just put your shampoo, conditioner, so everything in there and then you take it in the shower, hang it up, put it on the ground, whatever you want. It's just easy, keeps all your things together. And then also this, it's our own little bathroom shelf and it helps because you can put your cleaning supplies here, we have our toilet paper right here, and then it also helps when it comes to the shower caddies so you can hang them here, you don't have to worry about putting them in your room because, you know, it just helps to also have storage in this room because why would you want to take up more storage in your room when you can have some other things in here? Also, this is literally going to be your best friend. Okay, maybe, maybe not your best friend. So, Dampert is going to be your best friend when it comes to winter break and your bathrooms. Number one, there is no, as you can see, there's only one switch, which is fine. It's a bathroom. So there's one switch for light. There's no fan in here to help when you shower or something to get the moisture out. It's a very small room. So the reason our 
bathroom is not like moldy and gross is because we have damp rid and it helps suck the moisture out then it puts it at the bottom. I think each package is like $7, but it's honestly worth it to not have your towels ruined or have to buy a new floor mat in the middle of the semester. Like you just don't want to do that. Also damp rid helps when it comes to winter break. Here at FSU, they didn't do it this year because of COVID, I believe. They let people stay over winter break. When everyone leaves, they shut off the air conditioning. So people have said in years past that kids have come back and their closets have smelled just because of some like moisture problems, some weird things. I'm not a weather guy or a scientist but damp rid is the stuff for me. So it's the stuff for you too, so get it. Quick little thing. <laughs> YouTube, please don't fly because I'm in the shower, but everything, it's just for tutorial purposes. Okay, we have this rod my parents put up and it has hooks and that's what we hang our shower caddies on. And then there's this, oh, it was wet. Sorry. And then there's this little shelf that you can like put your shampoo and conditioners on when you take it out of the shower caddy. Also, you need to make sure um, you get your shower curtain and your shower liner. It helps keep the water out. We also have a shower mat on the floor, which helps when you come out. You don't have to worry about getting the floor all wet and everything. And yeah, that is the bathroom for you. So then this is the sink area, so you both share a sink in Azalea. Um, you have little cabinets down here. Remember to bring dish soap, pan soap, toothbrush things like that. Don't really have anything much to this area except it's a small sink. Remember too with FSU dorms, especially the core four, Azalea, Magnolia, Dorm, and Divini, if I like cook something, cook something, cook something, or I have something on a plate and it's a little too big for the sink, I will take it down the hall to the kitchen because the kitchen has a bigger sink where you can actually do dishes. And here the sink is a little smaller because it's just meant for really, you know, brushing your teeth and washing your face purposes and things like that. I have my closet. She's a bit of a mess, but whose closet is like really nice, except, you know, Kendall Jenner's, but she doesn't live in a dorm, so that's why. The closet, um, so I have this shoe holder thing. My sweet mate actually put shoes in here. I just put a lot of my socks. I put hand towels in here, umbrellas, purses, things like that. This is a must have as well. You can really do anything with it. It's such a great thing for storage. You just throw it on over your door and it's in here. Even though it looks messy, you just close your closet. And then there's more mess. I swear, it looks nicer. You guys have seen the views. Also, another thing that I did was I got these thinner hangers at Ikea. Um, once again, not a scientist. Don't know much, but I think it helps me put more clothes in here. So I got these thinner hangers from Ikea. I also use my Ikea Fracta bags to put my dirty clothes in because then I just hoist it over my back like a backpack, take it downstairs to do my laundry, and then I use the other bags to get the clean stuff and the cycle repeats itself. I also got a little shoe rack from Target and it has two layers and then the third is just the floor and it's honestly perfect for me. Little shelf up top right there as you can see and I got foldable boxes to put my sweaters in just because like I won't need those all the time or like you know bigger things that take up more space in here that I just kind of want up there. I have this hook thing right here that also goes over the top of my closet and it's where I hang my towels, a book bag, my hammock, my reusable bags that I use when I go grocery shopping, and my belts. Just another added piece of storage and I know it looks messy right here but it's just because the towels take up a lot of space. If you think you're buying too many things for storage purposes, you're not. You're gonna need all the storage you can get, honey. You need it. Hi, now we're on the floor. Then we have this little cart here. It has wheels on the bottom, which is really nice because then you can move it around just if you need to get to the window or to an outlet over here. I put a lot of my food in here. A realization I had when I came to college is that there was a lot of storage for your clothes and things, but there was not a lot of storage for your food because even though I showed you guys the shelf over there that goes above your fridge, that's really made up of your plates and containers to hold your food, but then I didn't really know where I was gonna put food. So this is really nice because you can have your paper towels. Here I have some food, some fruit. It's also where I put my masks, just little cute things and iron, some of my hair clips over here. It's just really nice and you can use it for a variety of things and it holds a lot, it's very nice. Another important thing to bring, regardless of what college or dorm you're in, is an air purifier. You're living in a whole new place with someone new and probably going to a lot of new places. So this can be really helpful in keeping the air in your room clean. So while they can be pricier, they are so worth it. So this is my bed. When it comes to your mattress topper, I would get the nicest one you can because beds are very uncomfortable without it. So even getting one, like I would just spend the extra money in getting the nicest one or the one you think you would need. It's just very nice, it's very helpful. I have a main pillow, I have a reader, and then I have three extra pillows, and then these are just friends 
to help, you know. I got my bedding and most of the things in here from Dormify or Dormco. But I know a lot of people that got either their sheets or even their comforter from Target, Walmart. They have super cute designs. The beds are a twin size. But when it comes to your, this thing, this big blanket comforter, I really two options that people do mainly. They get a twin so it fits the bed or they get a twin XL. I got a twin XL and the reason you do this is because then it hangs over and people can't see under your bed. I like the twin XL, cute that it hangs over, but sometimes it does annoy me because it's it's bigger than the bed, so it'll get like a little wonky and you gotta fix it in the mornings, but it's fine. So maybe go with like a twin, but those are your two options mainly, is a twin or a twin XL. Don't be nervous about whichever one you get. I mean, my roommate has a twin comforter and it looks fine. I have a twin XL, it looks fine, so. Also when it comes to this big blank wall you have or just walls you have in general, I got fairy lights and I just kind of strung them up and I did those with command strips with the clear ones so they come off pretty easily. not use clear tape use blue painters tape it does not take the paint off so side note anyways when it comes to this i have these little clear clips that i put on okay and then also this is under my bed so like i said i have the twin xl so i flip it up and then i have all the storage fsu provides this for you it's a little shelf on wheels i have jeans shorts and pajamas and then i have these three drawers right here um, you can get them from Walmart, uh, Target, really anywhere. They're just like the plastic ones. I'm trying to think in years to come, I'm moving into places, what's gonna like match like my room aesthetic in like a few years when I'm living somewhere else. I just have my running shorts, you know, necessities. I have little snacks right here. So accessibility, you don't have to get out of bed. It's late at night, but my phone is dying. <gasps> what do I do? I grab my charger. You have to think it's not about being lazy. It's about accessibility and it's about happiness. And I'm happy laying in bed and getting my phone charger. Because let's say I wake up at like seven, but I don't have class till nine, but I realize, oh no, my phone is about to die. Well, I can just plug it in at seven. I don't have to get up and then I go right back to bed. You see that? Bean bag. And in my opinion, this is the best part of it all. Hi, come here often place where I spend most of my time, especially with COVID and online school, I was literally, this was my classroom. This was it. But it's fine now, we don't have to worry about that. When you come to FSU, it's just this desk. Oh, it's not even a desk, I'm sorry. This is a little cabinet that opens and closes. It has a little lock thing. This is not attached to this in any way, so it can move. It's also on wheels. Also, there's this, which is really nice. It's like, it's supposed to be for like a detachable keyboard, so you can put it there. I use it for my elbows. Or if I'm taking notes, you can put this right here in your laptop here. It's perfect. This does not come with the desk. This is a desk hutch. So I bought this off of either Dormify or Dormco. And I do not remember how expensive it was, but it is worth it. You do not have to buy as big of this one. You don't have to buy it at all. I only bought this big of a one because I have a lot of things. I have jewelry, I have makeup, I just have, there's sticky notes up here, books, things like that. It just really helps me hold things. I got the one in the brown color because it just matches this. It has been a lifesaver. It has just really helped me a lot when it comes to storage because I don't want like, you know, I don't want to over <laughs> everything in the background. I don't want to overcrowd my space. No, it's organized chaos, so it's okay. I don't want to overcrowd my space to the point where I cannot take notes. So I have enough room to take notes, to write anything I need to do. I brought my own printer. Every college, they all have printers in the libraries. They might even have printers in their dorms. FSU has a printer at Strozer Library you can go to. Um, but you have to pay for that. Yes, I have to pay for ink, but it's also like just leisure. The library is sometimes it's not open. So it's nice to have a printer right here that I can scan things with. I can print things in color and black and white and it's just leisure. I would definitely get a printer. I have my little pencil holder here. I have tape. I got this from Ikea. It's very nice. Um, it has a little light thing right here, three levels. It tells you the time. You can charge your phone with it. It's very nice. Also, really want to personalize your room. When you first come to college, this is how I felt. I felt like my dorm was very empty. I had things up, but I did not have memories. It doesn't help too because you're, you're new to this whole environment. This is such a new phase of your life, but the good thing is, as the year goes on, you have more memories, you think of more ideas, so I just, you know, I clip on things and I put them here. This is my sorority, these are some drawings I did. Over here I have like sticky notes from my suite mates and roommates and things like that. So don't ever be worried that your room's gonna look bland in any way. Uh, you just, you just like think of things and have a better understanding of what you want your room to look like as the year goes on. So don't worry. 
Then I have two black grids and a corkboard above my desk hutch. These are nice for hanging pictures or pinning sticky note reminders to, while also making the room not seem as empty. Also, when it comes to your room, I believe I got this at Target and it kind of matched my vibe. Well, I would get a throw blanket because I have one on my bed, but that's what I use to cover myself up at night because the comforter is just too much. It doesn't, it doesn't get that, that cold in here. So, so I would just get a throw blanket because I'll be sitting here at my desk and just get extremely cold all of a sudden, but I have to go out later to do something. So I don't want to like put on a jacket and mess up my hair. You know, I didn't ever thought of these things. Like I got a throw blanket just to like be cute, but I really used it a lot because you know, like at home, you just have these things. But like here, you have to think more about what you use every day because this is your living space, this is your kitchen, this is your bedroom, and this is your workspace. So you have to incorporate everything into that. So I would totally get a throw blanket. It really helps. Also, especially FSU people, this one's for you guys. When it comes to your chair, the chairs you get here, no hate to FSU. They're red and they're old because, you know, wear and tear over the years, it's fine. So I bought Amazon chair covers. I bought a gray one to match my comforter and also just a gray is a very neutral color. So if I ever need one next year when I live somewhere, I can use it. I got a seat cover from Ikea. Even without COVID, I'm still going to be sitting here a lot and doing work, whether that's editing, just working at your desk, or maybe you have people over and this is a place where they can sit and just hang out. You don't want it to be like uncomfortable because this is your living space. So I got a seat cushion and I got a seat cover. And the seat cushion doesn't really matter in color because you cover it up with the seat cover anyway. My roommate didn't get a seat cover and she highly suggested one as well. And that is the video! Sorry for such an abrupt ending, I don't know how to film outros. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll drop the names of everything I highly recommend you need in the description below, along with a few dorm websites. Remember you can take everything I say with a grain of salt, as everyone has different tastes. These are just essential things that really helped me during my first year of college. And this has been my dorm tour of FSU's Azalea Hall. I hope you all enjoyed, and if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. And yeah, thanks so much for watching! I am a freshman currently. I am about to be a sophomore. I know, scary. <laughs>